We've got three main ones through the, the big leaky ponds and then there's another rock pond that's a leaky one. It's more just a um, one to hold back any uh, erosion or something like that, I think just to slow it down a bit more. There was holes of water in the creek but in between was just small and small trickles more than anything. We used to always waste water out of this creek but we're not going to anymore so it'll be all locked off. Well I reckon within a couple of days we noticed the water um, any like in some of the holes where there was it was washed down the bedrock um, those holes, holes filled up and they were going through the ponds through the leaky ponds that they were still getting recharging with water and um, you can't see any of that bedrock now. It's going to make a hell of a difference. I think it'll recharge all these flats here for a start. And I think that's the idea of it. So I'm thinking about putting loosening on the paddock over there. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. And that'll give us a hell of a boost with like drought. Um, yeah, we can make hay off it. And uh, yeah, it'll just, all these flats here, it'll be all hopefully recharged underneath like with underground water. It's very simple, actually. Yeah, it's, um, you know, as we were speaking, it's similar to what happens up in the mountains, the old mountain creeks and that logs just fall over it and, you know, it just backs the water up. They still run, but they don't wash away. On this side of the bridge, we were getting washed out pretty badly. Every time we got a flood there, it was a fairly sharp bend and the water was racing through there. So um, it was only a matter of time before it probably became unrepairable. So um, hopefully that'll stop all, all of that. Is it not everywhere you'll see a heap of land owners work together to get something like this done. And you probably couldn't do it on your own anyhow, I don't think. It takes you know a few people to get together to do it. I always always wanted to do something with the creek here, but I never ever had the opportunity to do it. When Peter came about three odd years ago, I thought, well, we might as well give it a crack. So it's taken all that time to do the planning and everything. But um, when they come in, they were only here for um, more, less than two weeks and it was all done. So it was really good. Yeah, I want to see it in another three years time now. I sort of can't wait when all the trees grow and animal, um, you know, the bird life mainly and all that sort of stuff. And I think we used to have fish in this creek, but I reckon they'll be back again now.